Hey everyone, it's Pastor Joseph here. A beautiful Thursday morning outside of Hills Church. And uh, just uh, taking a little stroll around after doing some office work. And I thought I'd share with you for today my thoughts on accurate self-talk. Probably this is the one of the best places you can start your spiritual journey is accurate self-talk. So many of us have really poor self-talk in a negative sense that uh, when we uh, when something happens to us, some people call this uh, this chatter. Uh, it's the interior monologue that you have when something happens. And so sometimes the chatter is, uh, oh, I failed again. I'm a failure. Uh, I can't believe I did that. I'm so stupid. Uh, I'll never amount to anything. I'm exactly what that teacher in fourth grade told me I was. There's all sorts of ways in which we have negative self-talk. And um, I encourage you, when you catch yourself doing that, to take a moment and stop and uh, ask yourself, how can I reframe this to make it more accurate? So it's not, uh, I am a failure, but oh, that didn't work out. Um, it's not, uh, I am stupid, but oh, I have new information now that I can use later, that I can gain next time. Uh, use some accurate self-talk, and, and I recommend you do this with a uh, with a journal, um, because uh, when you see how you uh, talk about yourself in a positive way, that will start to change how you speak inside here, uh, the chatter that's going on in your mind, the interior dialogue, if you will. There's also a way that we can, uh, and it's not just negative self-talk, there's also a way that we can go to far on the positive side of ourselves. We inflate ourselves, and that's not accurate either. That's why it's accurate self-talk and not just positive self-talk. Sometimes we say, oh, well, I knew that already when you didn't. Uh, I'm smarter than she is. Why did she get that promotion? Um, I, uh, I don't really need that person's help. Why are they offering it? It's all sorts of things that uh, we say to ourselves sometimes. Um, that are inaccurate self-talk on the positive side of things as well. So what do you do with that? Well, um, maybe it is true that that person uh, is not as good at you at the job, but they did get a promotion, and you know what? That's their deal, not yours. That deals more with uh, their life and not yours. You have to you're not in competition with this person, in other words. You have to deal with it in a way that works for you. Or uh, a classic one is, I'm right and they're wrong. Why should I forgive them for what happened? Well, maybe, you know, it's time to seek or ask for forgiveness. Maybe you weren't right. Uh, how often do we contemplate that? That, uh, you know, when we dig our heels in, sometimes, you know, there's more to the story than that. So, uh, and that's clearest when you run up against the, the Christian virtues, such as forgiveness, such as uh, love and joy and peace. What's making my heart not peaceful? Sometimes we want to hold a grudge, and then we're upset that our hearts aren't peaceful. Well, as long as you're holding that grudge, you have not trained your heart to be peaceful. So that's what I mean by accurate self-talk. And uh, I encourage you to start there. We are talking about the spiritually active life right now. How can you be spiritually fit in addition to be physically fit, in addition to being mentally fit? What does it look like to be spiritually fit? And uh, one thing I would say that's really important is accurate self-talk. Try it out. Uh, give yourself a week and uh, try and when you catch yourself chattering in your mind something that's inaccurate, um, run up and, and, and write it out in a journal someplace. Find a place where you can um, examine your self-talk and uh, find out if it really is accurate or not. If you need help, talk to a therapist, talk to a spiritual director, talk to a good friend, uh, talk to your pastor, your rabbi, and uh, see how that works out for you. Um, and you will find uh, that there's a lot of joy in accurate self-talk and in finding out more about yourself. All right. Love you all and miss you all. We'll see you soon.